Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse my red face. I have no makeup on. Uh, hair is not looking too great either. Uh, I've just been cleaning all morning. But I was over here like putting things away on my son's changing table and I got to thinking that I had mentioned that I would film a room tour for his nursery for one, which I have never really done. And I also remember saying that I would film a video for his changing station and just how we have it set up. And I got to thinking about it, and it's like, if I don't do it now, I'm probably never going to do it. No, it doesn't look like Instagram worthy per se, but this is real life. And the way we have it set up and everything that's up here is everything that we use on a regular basis. So I thought, why not just go ahead and show it to you? So let's turn the camera around and I'll show you this changing station. So this is Levi's changing station, just a full on pan down so you guys can see everything. This is a dresser, the, um, I don't know how well you can see from this side, right here. You can see right here there's a hinge. This part folds up to make a shelf. Now this was my changing station when I was a baby. Um, as you can tell, it is also a dresser. My parents paid a lot of money for this. They said this is like the most expensive piece of furniture they had bought in so far, I think in their marriage when they bought this for me <laughs> when I was a baby and it just folds up. You can hear my son out there. Mickey Mouse is on. He loves Mickey Mouse. He's squealing. He's happy. I have the door shut right now because I don't want the TV to be too loud in here. This shouldn't take too long anyways. So <clears throat> the bottom drawer doesn't shut all the way anymore. There's something wrong with it. I don't really know. We need to pull it out and have a look. Um, obviously Pampers box needs to be thrown away and that is his bag of socks because I never got around to cleaning out the drawer that his socks are supposed to go in. Uh, it currently has all of Molly's puppy clothes in them that she never wears because she hates having clothes on her. Anyways, <laughs> um, when he gets older and no longer needs a changing station, we will fold up the bottom part right here and it'll turn into a shelf that he can put like a TV on or something like that when he gets older. So this is just a good piece of furniture that can grow with him and hopefully someday he'll use it for his kids. So let's go ahead and have a look at the changing station itself. I like to change him from this direction. So we can put Winnie the Pooh there so you can see what I'm talking about. So we lay Levi right here, like where Pooh Bear is, um, just because I have easier access to doing everything. I hate changing a baby from this direction. I've had to do that out in town a few times. And when I worked at the daycare, I had to change babies from this side. And I hate it. I never felt like I kept the diaper on right. But coming at it from this direction, I have access to all the parts. Pooh Bear has a butt crack. I never realized that before. <laughs> Old Pooh Bear, he was mine. Um, so... We have these baggies here that I like to use anytime he has a poop diaper and you tie them off and it just helps contain the smell, which we do have a diaper genie over here, but uh, I just find this, this a little extra help. You can get a box of these at the Dollar Tree. I think you get like, I don't know, 100 or 200 of them in there. Levi likes to reach over and grab them out of the box, so I just threw the box out because I was tired of trying to shove them all back in, so I just left them all up here. Um, his little baby chucks are up here so I can easily grab them and put them on him if I feel like putting them on him or an outfit. Um, this right here is like just baby stuff. He's supposed to have his nail clippers. Oh, I guess they're right here. Nail clippers. There's like a medicine thing that we've never used. There's another medicine thing. And then he had a thermometer that goes in here as well, but I think that got put in the medicine cabinet in the kitchen. Um... We have, we'll just finish up the side here. We have hand sanitizer. Uh, here's a dirty sock. Needs to go in the dirty clothes hamper. Some baby lotion from the hospital. We have found that he has issues with certain lotions. He's good with pretty much everything else. Doesn't matter what laundry detergent, doesn't matter what soap we use on him, but lotions just break him out for whatever reason. Um, so that was one from the hospital. We can go ahead and take that out of here because he can't use it. Um, here's another little syringe that we got from the hospital, but uh, I guess we don't need that in here anymore either. And here's a dusty old tag. <laughs> we'll just throw that over here in the diaper pail. Um, so yeah, we've got that. There's another dirty sock. There's an old bow. This is turning into like a changing station clean out. <laughs> uh, Let's see, so down here we have his pants for tomorrow. One thing that we got at our baby shower were these little plaques, and I love them because we hang up his clothes for the next day and his pajamas. His pajamas, we let him wear twice um, in a row just because, you know, he's sleeping in them. So it kind of cuts back on laundry, and it cuts back on how many pajamas we need to have for him. 
So these ones are his his fresh jam jams. So it'll be his first night wearing those, but I like to hang them up. So you know, we just know it's easy. We know what to put on him. And then when he gets dressed in the morning, I pick out his next outfit for the next day. So that one's a little Calvin Klein onesie. And then he has a long sleeve onesie to go underneath because it is getting cold. And he has his amber teething necklace, which I can do a whole video on if you guys are interested. I think he's about ready for a bottle. You can hear him out there like grunting. And then he's got his little pants set up here for tomorrow. This is a cape that goes on a Ninja Turtle bib, which the bib's not in here. Um, then over here we have a supply of like Desident and butt paste. There's also another hand sanitizer that can go there. And then we have one of these bulb things, which we never use it, but we have it up here in case we need it. And he's got like a little rattle toy. Um, his Desident that we're currently using is right here. It was set off to the side. Normally it's right there stuff back what not um, and then we have this little ducky this was actually something that my grandmother gave me when I was a little kid and I like to keep it up here and hand it to him when I'm changing him it gives him something to hold on to a play with chew on um, keeps him entertained while I'm changing him and we've got the diapers right there so they're easy to grab out those are the Aldi size 3 and they're really cute they have like little elephants on them super cute and then over here, we have his wipes, so they're easy access. You can just grab them right out. Then socks and get ready to go put on him. Um, we have hydrocodone cream. He's had a few places where he's gotten like little red spots on him from like milk dripping down under his neck and his ears. And the doctor said that it's okay to put a little bit of hydrocodone on there just kind of protect the area and help it heal. Then he's got his little baby brush, which is normally over here. And then we have a pair of scissors. I can't tell you how helpful it has been to have the scissors in here. Anytime he gets a new toy or he gets a new outfit and I want to put on him, there's always tags that need to be cut off. So I've just found that keeping a pair of scissors in here are really, really helpful because I'm constantly needing them. And then he's got his Johnson's Head to Toe um, Baby Cream. This is the only lotion i found so far that works for him. Though it does break out his face, so I can't put any lotion at all on his face, but it doesn't hurt his body any, so this is the lotion that we use. Um, and then over here, I just have an old TV stand for like TV dinners, and we've got a box full of his diapers. So that is Levi's changing station, for anyone who's interested in what that is. It's like this giant blow-up thing that he can sit inside. We just hang it there for when we're not using it. He can't really, he doesn't really have like the abdominal strength right now to sit in it anyways, so we don't really use it too often. He can sit for a few seconds and he like slouches down. So I'm sure he'll enjoy it more when he gets older and it's got all these like little uh, crinkly whatnots all the way around it and then he sits here in the middle and then this is like an insulated bottle holder so if we have cold bottles or something we can put them in here they, they're really nice to have on hand but that sums up everything for his changing station just kind of how we we do everything um i i like the setup maybe this will give somebody some inspiration on how they want to set things up or the kind of things they might like to have on their changing station but yeah, that just kind of sums everything up. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.